Good morning, Supervisors. Roy Hagemeyer, Mojave Valley, Arizona. I want to begin with Matthew 16, 26. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? Chairman Angus, how do people change, or do they? We have a huge problem in our county government today. Political favors in return for who knows what. People willing to destroy communities to give favor to corporate friends, elected officials who say one thing and do just the opposite. Like in the expose that you will read in the Our Town magazine where you said of yourself that your goals are to protect the integrity of local government. How about you live in that integrity and that high-ranking government officials respect the will of the people? Maybe you should start by respecting the will of the people of Mojave Valley. I would suggest that you start by living out what you said in the article in this very meeting shows that you do not believe what you have said. Your appointment of John Hassett to the Planning and Zoning Commission and then the subsequent contract for $1.1 million for medical examiner services. The question was brought up in his contract if it was a conflict of interest. If there's a question, it's a conflict. As the chairman of the Foster Care Review Board, if I know a person that we're going to speak about, it's a conflict for me. And then the fact that Mr. Hassett and Mr. Helms both, who have an inappropriate relationship in regards to MEC, uh, they both sit on the executive board of the Chamber of Commerce with John Martell, who is the COO of MEC. Is that not a conflict of interest? I think it is. And then to watch the show that was put on by Mr. Hassett on October 9th was just a shame. It was a joke. There was no consideration of the people of Mojave Valley whatsoever. They had decided the outcome of that planning and zoning meeting before they ever walked in this room. And then the relationship between you and John Martell and Tyler Carlson, all a relationship of a promised rezone and amendment change to the general plan. The whole thing stinks. And then what about Mr. Hassett's? Horrible comment about our supervisor, Ron Gould, when he said F Ron Gould and his staff at a break at the Planning and Zoning Commission. Again, in your expose, Hildy, uh, in Our Town Magazine, you say that you're all for the people. But what people? Surely not the people of Mojave Valley. You've already disparaged and sold them off to the highest bidder. You don't care about the people. You care about your corporate friends at MEC and EPCO. And since we're on the subject, the big lie from Tyrell Carlson and company at MEC, where they state in their brochure, it's been repeated by Medias Army and Tom Brady, the ex-mayor of Bullhead, that had this peaker plant been up and running during the 2022 Labor Day uh, monsoon, that the power would have never went off. With 140 poles on the ground, it surely would have gone off. Thank you.